So you're here because you want an easy way to buy Ethereum with low fees, right? Well, I will show you step by step how to buy Ethereum on Coinbase in this beginner friendly tutorial. Then later in the video, I will guide you through Coinbase Pro. It is a little bit more difficult to use, but is well worth your time mastering because they have much lower trading fees and will save you a lot of money in the long run. I've also made a free custom crypto trading calculator for you, which will help keep track of your investment and trading profits. And I will show you how to get access to this later on in the video, so make sure to stick with me to the end. But for now, let's get started. First, click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It'll take you to my special Coinbase discount page where you'll get a bonus $10 worth of Bitcoin after depositing a minimum of $100. So make sure to sign up through this link and claim your free bonus if you don't have an account yet. Once you have verified your email and personal information, it'll take you to this homepage of Coinbase where you can see your personal portfolio balance, which for you, if you're starting a fresh account, will be zero. But in this example, it's $400. And if we scroll down, you can see our watch list already has Bitcoin on there. But if you want to add other coins that you're interested in, like for example, in this video, we want to buy Ethereum. So we want to add that to the list. You would click on discover more assets, find the coin you want, and then click on the star button. And I'll click on a few more. And then you simply go back to home and you can see the assets you want to track are now here. And if we scroll down further, the last thing to see is your portfolio. So in my case here, you can see it's 100% Bitcoin, but if you're gonna buy Ethereum, like I will show you in this tutorial, then you'll have more percentage as Ethereum show up onto your overall portfolio. Here's a quick question for you. What percentage of your portfolio do you plan on holding in Ethereum and why? Let me know in the comment section below. So the next step before proceeding is to add your payment method. And the best and easiest way to do this is to click on your profile and then click on settings and then go to payment methods. Now click on add a payment method. I just have the one option, which is a debit or credit card. So I'll add that now and then click on add card. And that's it. I have one successful payment method added. But if you're from a different country, you may be presented with more payment method options. So for example, if you're from the United States, you have the options of a bank transfer, a debit card option, or even a PayPal option. So choose the one that is most suited to you. But just to let you know that the easier it is, the more you're going to get charged. So for example, with debit card or PayPal, you're going to be charged 3.99%, but you'll get to instantly purchase your Bitcoin. However, if you're willing to wait a few days and save on the fees, then I suggest you use the bank transfer option, which will then only cost you 1.49% for the fees. And later on in this video, I'll show you how to save even more on fees by using Coinbase Pro to purchase your Bitcoin instead. Now we're ready to go and purchase our Ethereum. And to do that, we'll click on prices. You can see the full list of assets here arranged by market cap size, but you can change it to the price or even 24 hour change. So now I'm gonna sort it by market cap and you can see Ethereum is here. But if you can't find your coin, you can always type in the search box here. Now there are two ways of buying Ethereum from this page. The first is to click on trade here and you can type in the figures or at the top of every page, there's this buy slash sell button, which you can access from anywhere. And it also does the same thing. But if you want a little bit more information and price history before you buy the asset, which is what I recommend, then exit out to here and click on Ethereum. It'll bring up an overview of the asset where it shows the price change in the last 24 hours, a week, a month, a year or all time. And it will give you a better clue of when to buy or sell. Quick tip, not financial advice. I would always want to buy on the dip. So for example here, I would never buy up at $4,000. You wait for the retracement down to say $2,000 and that's a 50% discount and maybe that's a good time to buy. But always do your own research as I'm not providing investment advice here. So if we come down, you can see also the market cap of this coin and a cool unique feature of Coinbase is they provide you a trading activity which shows you the percentage of customers who are buying versus selling. So if 71% are buying, that means this asset is bullish. So it gives you a bit of an indication on what's happening. If we scroll down, you can see the summary of this asset and you can also go to their official website or access their white paper if you need more information. The next part on the right hand side is another cool feature of Coinbase, which is a price correlation. It shows you which coins 
like to move together with Ethereum and which coins like to move against Ethereum. So in this example, it shows that, you know, obviously Ethereum Classic is a fork of Ethereum, so they move together 93% of the time. And it also likes to move with Bitcoin Cash. On the other hand, New Cypher, minus 66%, that means it moves in opposite directions most of the time. So this can give you a bit of an edge and an indication for you. Next is the top stories where it gives you the latest news and updates on this particular asset. We can scroll back up to the top now and buy from this box here. I'll do as I said before and click on the buy and sell button here. So now you enter in the amount you want in terms of dollars. Make sure you select the right asset, click on it and select the one you want. Once you think you're happy, then click on preview buy. This will now show you a summary of the price of Ethereum you're purchasing it at, how much you're purchasing and what your Coinbase fees are. And if you're okay with everything, you can click on buy now. Or another way of doing it is to go back and just click on this ETH button. This will show you the amount of Ethereum that you actually want to buy. So let's say you want 0.05 Ethereum. This is an equivalent of $147.30. But you care more about the Ethereum amount, so that's why you want to buy it in terms of Ethereum. So this is a really handy way of buying your asset if you like to view it in terms of Ethereum, for example, instead of dollars. So let's change quickly the amount back to $100. Click on Preview Buy again. So you can see here the Coinbase fee for a $100 purchase is almost 4%. This is quite high, right? And that's why I want to show you a cheaper option to buy Ethereum on Coinbase, if your country allows this and that is to use Coinbase Pro. So from paying almost 4% fees on Coinbase, changing it to Coinbase Pro will reduce your Coinbase fees down to a maximum of 0.5% only. This is roughly eight times cheaper to buy your asset on Coinbase Pro. So it's worth learning and understanding how to do it properly. And if you're in a region that allows you to deposit straight into Coinbase Pro, I suggest you take advantage of this right away. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my Ethereum Coinbase tutorial so far? If yes, make sure to let me know by liking my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on quality content that I'll be releasing every single week relating to crypto. So this is what the Coinbase Pro platform really looks like. On first sight, it looks a bit more complicated, but trust me, once you're used to it, you'll like this a lot more as you have more control on what you buy and when you buy it. And to access this, you simply type in pro.coinbase.com and just use the same username and password to log in and access this platform as your Coinbase account. Now the first step is to get your money into Coinbase. And to do this, we'll click on deposit. And now you can choose the currency you want to deposit. In this example, I already have some Bitcoin, so I'm going to use that. So I'll select BTC. Now you can deposit from an external address or from coinbase.com. So my funds are in coinbase.com, so I'm going to click on to that. Now I'll select the maximum amount and scroll down to the bottom. And before confirming, you can see there are zero fees from transferring between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro at all times. So that is how we're able to reduce the fees. So I'm happy with that and I'll click on deposit. Click on done and there's my BTC balance right now. So quickly just summarizing this method on reducing the fees. You have to firstly deposit your money into Coinbase and remember not to use your PayPal or credit card as a deposit method as those fees are high. Use the bank transfer and then once your money is in Coinbase, then you can transfer it for free from Coinbase into Coinbase Pro. This is where we're able to save on the fees as it's only 0.5 of a percent to buy and sell as opposed to 4% on Coinbase. Now here we want to buy Ethereum. So to buy the asset, we click on select market, type in ETH, which is Ethereum, BTC pair, because that's the currency that I currently have. But if you deposited US dollars or USDT, then you can click on those different pairs. But I'll select BTC for now. And now you simply type in the amount of ETH you wanna buy and click on place order once you're happy. And if you ever wanna sell, then you just click on sell and select the amount again and then place sell order. There are other more complicated ways of purchasing and selling your asset, like the limit and the stop method, but I won't deep dive into these two more complicated methods here. Instead, if you want to know exactly how to do this, I have this video here, which will guide you through step by step on getting familiar with Coinbase Pro. So check that out if you want to learn more. And if you want my free custom crypto trading calculator, then just go to this link in the description to get access to that.
But for now, once you bought the asset that you want, you can always go to your portfolio and you can see the percentage of each asset that you own here. So if you're ready to proceed with Coinbase and want to know the next step to take, then go to this video. But if you think Coinbase is not the right exchange for you, then I recommend this alternative. So check it out and I'll see you over there.